What to expect when getting a lung transplant? Your phone rings, and on the other end of the line, a Shands Transplant Center donor coordinator says, Mr. Smith, we have a lung for you. Shands Transplant, this is let's it. go. What do I do after I get the call? Pack your bag, identify your driver, and get on the road heading towards Shands Transplant Center at the University of Florida in Gainesville. Please leave your cell phone on so your coordinator may contact you if anything changes and to update you on where to report once you arrive at the hospital. You can enjoy free parking in the patient visitor parking lots located around the hospital or $3 valet parking with a voucher. You will enter the North Tower of Shands Hospital located on the north side of Archer Road. When you arrive at the North Tower, please go to the unit your coordinator has directed you to. Ask for the charge nurse who will direct you to your bed and begin your preparations for surgery. Some of the preparations will include placing an IV, drawing blood, obtaining a chest x-ray, signing surgical and anesthesia consents, and speaking with surgeons and anesthesiologists. After this flurry of activity to prepare you for surgery, there will be a pause in the process while we wait for word from our other team members recovering the lung or lungs at the donor site. What's happening at the donor site while I'm at the hospital? The surgical team at the donor site visually inspects the lungs. Once the surgical team determines that the lungs are suitable for you, they will call us back at the hospital and then you will go to the operating room. You have been getting prepped and ready to go, but the procuring surgeon gives the ultimate green light to go forward in the process. At this time, the surgeon may say, we are going to bring back the lung or lungs and we can move forward. However, there is always the possibility that the lung or lungs are not going to be suitable. Lungs are suitable for you when they are healthy enough to be transported and transplanted. The surgeon may say, we are not going to be able to bring back this lung or lungs, in which case the surgery will be canceled. This is what we call a dry run. If a dry run occurs, you will be discharged and can return home. You will continue your placement on the waiting list and we will wait together for another opportunity for the right organ to be available to fit you. The green light. The lung is good and they'll be coming up in 20 minutes to get you. When we have the green light on a lung and are ready to move forward, you will be taken to the operating room by the ICU nurse and anesthesia team. At the operating room doors, you will be given a quick opportunity to hug your loved ones. They then will be directed to the waiting area where they will wait for you while you are in surgery. In the operating room, you will be placed on the operating table. The anesthesia team will put you to sleep and then place extra IV lines and monitoring devices on you for the surgery. The surgery. The surgeon will come in and begin removing your diseased lung. At the same time, the surgical team at the donor site will be coming back, usually flying back in a helicopter or plane, with your new, healthy lung. Once that team arrives at Shands, they will bring your new lung to the operating room. Your surgeon will then surgically place the lung or lungs into your chest. Yeah, that's good. So that's healthy lungs right there. When the surgery is complete, you will go back to the critical intensive care unit with a breathing tube in your mouth that runs down your throat to help you breathe. You will also have tubes in your chest to drain the fluid that collected during the surgery and evacuate extra air from the lung space. If you receive a single lung, you will have two chest tubes. One will be placed at the top of your chest and one will be placed at the bottom of your chest. If you receive two lungs, you can expect to have four chest tubes, two at the top of your chest and two at the bottom of your chest. After the surgery, you are still going to be pretty much asleep. The breathing tube will do all of the breathing work for you while your new lungs heal. Patients may come off of the breathing machine in a few hours after surgery, but the typical time is one to three days. In a few cases, it may take one to three weeks to remove you from the breathing machine. What to expect in the ICU. 
While you are in the intensive care unit, you will have a dedicated nurse caring for you at your bedside. The nurse will be monitoring you closely, checking your temperature, blood pressure, pulse, heart rhythms, ventilator or breathing settings, and your medications. Your nurse will work closely with the lung transplant physician team. You will encounter some surgical discomfort and this is to be expected. You will be given medications to help ease the discomfort but you are expected to be an awake and active participant in your care. This is important to speed the recovery process. Being an active participant means being awake to participate in physical therapy and being able to communicate with your nurse, family members, and transplant team by writing messages. Once you are taken off of the breathing machine and medically stable, you will be moved from the ICU to the lung transplant floor in the hospital. This is located on 5 West in the South Tower. Recovery on 5 West. The hospital rooms on 5 West in the South Tower are private rooms and you are allowed to have one adult family member stay with you at all times. The lung transplant team will make their rounds to your room each morning to discuss your plan of care for the day. Most plans of care will include daily participation and physical therapy at the gym. Rehab, rehab, rehab. Another three minutes. Rehab is not optional. Rehab is a requirement. You will need to bring comfortable shoes and loose clothing to wear. Your chest tubes will still be in when you do your physical therapy, so you will be accompanied to the gym by a physical therapy assistant trained in management of lung transplant patients. Getting ready to leave the hospital. My name's Cindy. I'm your lung transplant coordinator. You will begin the discharge educational process with your assigned nurse coordinator. Your nurse coordinator will go over how to take care of yourself once you are discharged and review all of the new medicines you will be taking. The pharmacist you met during your evaluation is available to you and is consulted to ensure that you understand how to take your transplant medications and the costs involved. The dietitian assigned to 5 West will also assess your nutritional status and a diabetes nurse educator will also be consulted to teach you how to monitor your blood glucose after transplant if needed. There's the map and the other things to uh, do in Gainesville and because we want you to be living your life, I think the important thing is to not to get, keep yourself in a bubble even though this is new. Our social worker <laughs> yeah. will assist your family or caregiver in securing housing for you while you live in Gainesville, Florida for the next four to six weeks after discharge. 